Hey, what's happening guys? I got a little panel volt amp meter for us to look at. This is a one hung low, some young guy, some Ting Wong eBay special. Uh, this is the this is the part number. And I will post a uh, link down below in the description to show you where I got it. So the reason I got this is because we're going to be doing a build your own power supply video here as soon as the rest of the parts come from China in a few weeks. But I ordered this from the US because I know they're a little tricky to mess with and I wanted to make sure I had everything right and I wanted to show it to you guys. So this little meter comes with two connections. This is your voltage input and voltage sense connector and this is your current connector. And you can also see here we have a current adjust and a voltage adjust and this is all driven by this little ST micro here. There's a 3.3 volt regulator you can put up to 30 volts DC on your power in. Uh, the sense will measure up to 100 volts DC and 10 amps DC. So it comes with two connectors and some wires. Let me zoom out here a little bit. This is your current sense wire. That's this big one here. And it clips on like so. And this is your voltage input, which are the red and the black, and your sense wire, which is the yellow. And they clip on here. And everything sounds wonderful and beautiful, except if you try and measure current and voltage from the same source. Because there is a zero ohm resistor coming from this connection to here, bad things happen. So you have to wire this up just a little bit different. So let's take a look at how you actually have to wire this if you want to run them from a single source. All right, so if you're gonna run these from a single source, you have to kind of wire it up like this. I mean, here's our meter. Pardon my crude drawing. And then we have our V plus ground and our sense wire. So these are our voltage input connections here. And then we have our two current wires, which we'll just label red and black. And then over here, this is our load, like this, so to speak, okay? So, here's how we have to do this. Here's our current source. And we have plus and minus like that. So our V plus wire comes over and connects to the positive of the load. And our, our red current sense wire comes over and connects to the negative of the load. Our positive, let me come down here a little bit, there we go. Our positive from the battery comes down and connects to the positive of the load. And our negative from the battery or current source connects to the black wire from the meter. And finally, <laughs> sorry about that, our sense wire also comes up and connects to the positive of the load. A little bit crazy, I know. That's the way it goes together. Now let's take a look at it in practice. 
Okay, so here we have a 12 volt automotive bulb and our power supply. Now we bring in our meter and let's connect it up. Our sense and our voltage positive go to the positive of the load, which is also connected to the positive of the battery. The red wire for the amp, the current meter, goes to the negative side of the load, and the negative from our current meter goes to the negative for our current source. And then if I plug her in, our light is lit. We're putting out 12 volts here. And I bring in the meter. And there you can see we have 12 volts and 0.43 milliamps. I'm showing 0.46 milliamps here, but that's close enough for government work. Let me grab a screwdriver here and show you if I bring the voltage down somewhat you can see the voltage going down there and take it back up to 12 volts and we can take the amperage down and we can bring the amperage back up So that's how you work one of these little eBay special panel volt amp meters. I hope you guys like this. I hope you understood what I was trying to explain. If you did, give me a thumbs up and feel free to comment, share, and thanks for subscribing. I will see you next time.